it's equals PR dot read string and message box dot show string dot format our string is argument and text and now that we have all of our packets nice and structured let's see how it came out okay syntax hello world our string is hello world Send math calculations to 2 times 2 our value was 4 from 2 times 2 and for sending an image oops almost forgot, forgot about that, completely forgot about that Now let's run it again. Send image. We'll just use this. And as you can see, well, the image came through, but we need to have our text box set to stretch. Let's just do that. Size mode, stretch. Let's run this again and send image and there it is so if you send an image through a network that's how it will come out as long as nothing was dropped so let's double check everything we did send text math calculation is equal 44 times 8 and let's send another image And our packet reader and writer is a success. Let's review everything we did so far, everything we did in this tutorial. We created a new packet writer based or a based inherited binary formatter. I also have MSDN links so you can read up more on the binary writer if you like. We created our memory stream variable so we can um, grab our bytes once we're done writing. We created our get bytes method so we close our memory stream so we can get to the data we read the data and then we returned it with when we created our own custom write method which writes an image to our packet to our packet stream and then we created our packet reader which takes it which will take the data we received it'll um, pass it down to the um, binary reader and it also has read integer, blah, 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 main things we'll need. And then we also had our custom read image, which gets the length, as we did up here. We read the bytes, and then we use the um, quite convenient image stuff from stream. We don't have to do any math or any crap like that to get our image. And then we returned it and we also did our, our, um, our simulating and we used our headers such as header.txt and then we wrote our text and sent our data processed it and I'm hoping that you guys learned it's quite easy to structure your packets and most of you already know how to make connections and such, and this is the last piece of the puzzle you really needed. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.